Hey Krishna. If you saw your best friend blindfolded and running towards a cliff, you'd want to tell him, wouldn't you? You want to say, hey, friend, you're running blindfolded towards the end of a cliff. That's what friends do, isn't it? They, they warn. They look out for each other. Friends look out for each other. That's what friends are for. They're there to help you. Hmm? And what happens when you tell your friend that he's running towards the end of a cliff and he ignores you? And he tells you that to be so stupid and to put on a blindfold and do like him. Well, you wouldn't because it's crazy. And he's getting closer and closer. And you've taken off the blindfold and you're walking away from the edge of the cliff. Walking towards somewhere very beautiful. Picture this. An island full of happy people, men, women and children, young and old, living together, farming some nice land, growing their own food, not having to get up or not having to get up in the morning and get into the car and drive into a polluted city. No, but actually just walking, strolling down the fields and tilling some earth and picking some weeds and, you know, tending some vegetables or milking some cows, picking some flowers, lighting some incense, and offering it to their most dearest friend. Singing together the glories of their dearest friend. Dancing together. Dressing their dearest friend. Washing their dearest friend. And living together in harmony. With the dearest friend in the middle. Who loves them all equally. And to them, he is the most important thing. Can you imagine that? A life like that? With people living like that? With no stress, with no worries. With no deadlines or fear, with no threats, with no isolation, with everything open. Can you imagine a world like that? It is possible. It's very possible. But we have to be in the same kind of mind think. We have to have the same goal in common. And that's to please our most dearest friend. If we try to please ourselves then we get this society of meat eating and torture and fear and deception and cheating. 
But if we know who our friend is, and we know our relationship with him, and we know what he wants us to do, and we put him in the center of our life, then we can live on that island, a heavenly, peaceful island. And that island can be this whole planet. All the planets can be like that. Everybody living together and serving their dearest friend. People have come and gone and have tried to remind us of our dearest friend and tell us what he wants us to do. They've given us the blueprint, the instructions. But somehow or other, we still haven't got it right. I guess we still have to learn more lessons. 